Hello, I'm Dr. Yunan. And I'm Dr. Jake Begun. And we're gastroenterologists from Australia with an interest in inflammatory bowel disease. Today we are going to talk about biologic therapy that we use for inflammatory bowel disease. Today we are going to talk about infliximab. So infliximab um, is also known for some brand name including Remicade, um, Inflectra, Remzema and Remflexis. So Remicade is what we sometimes call as originator. So this is the first medication or first brand that came um, with the infliximab mechanism. Following that, a few other companies um, produce very similar medication um, and those are called biosimilars and that include Inflectra and Remzema and Reflexis. Um, I don't think you should be concerned if you're receiving one medication or the other. They all have a similar efficacy and safety profile so far. Why am I being treated with this medicine? Infliximab is approved for a variety of immune conditions, but within inflammatory bowel disease, it's approved for Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and perianal or fistulizing Crohn's disease for both adults and pediatric patients. And how does it work? Well, it works by um, blocking certain protein that affects the inflammatory bowel disease pathway. So infliximab is a monoclonal antibody um, that targets um, TNF-alpha protein. And TNF-alpha is usually getting produced um, when you have an infection and that's getting produced to cause temporary inflammation to get rid of the infection. However, in inflammatory bowel disease patient, this is overproduced, causing significant inflammation in your gut and causing your symptoms. This medication will target the very protein um, and hence your disease will be controlled. How long does it take to work? Infliximab is among the most rapid onset of the biologic medications that we use for the treatment of inflammatory bowel disease. We often see an improvement in inflammation after even the first infusion. However, we usually wait until the induction course is complete before making an assessment of whether or not the drug is efficacious and that's usually after um, about three months of therapy. Mm -hmm. How do I take infliximab? Well, infliximab is given by intravenous. So usually you get this uh, medication given in the hospital or in infusion center format. So when you go in, you will have a drip in and you'll get medication um, given through the cannula. And usually the dose that you'll be receiving is by the weight. So five milligram per kilogram of your weight. First three doses are given very closely within three months to make sure that you quickly get the response to the medication. So you get the first dose and then another dose in two weeks time and in six weeks time. So once you have a good response to those three infusions, then you go on to what's called maintenance um, therapy. So you, in that regimen, you will get um, the infusion every eight weeks. And also with the infliximab infusion, um, usually at the initial part of the three infusion that you'll be receiving, you'll receive it um, over two hours or longer than that to make sure that you don't have any infusion reaction. However, once you've done the three infusion, you had no response, then a following maintenance um, infusion that you're receiving can be done over an hour. And some hospitals do it in much shorter time, depending on the um, protocol. How long will I be on infliximab for? We usually assess a response to infliximab after the induction dosing, and then if there's a good response, we'll continue on to maintenance. And then on maintenance therapy, which as Dr. On said is given every eight weeks, we assess response usually every six months. The goal of therapy is to completely control the disease and heal the gut, and that's what we'll be looking for in the clinic. And so once you've had a durable remission, if you have an initial good response, your specialist may discuss with you the possibility of going on a drug holiday if everything is really healed, um, and in which case the infliximab may be stopped. And you'll be watched closely because many patients after the infliximab is stopped experiencing a flare and you need to restart the infliximab. But the good news in that situation is that most patients, the vast majority, will uh, again achieve a remission after the infliximab has been restarted if they had a flare when it was held. 
On the other hand, if people don't have an adequate response to infliximab and don't go into remission, we might need to increase the dose either by increasing the actual milligrams of infliximab you're receiving with each infusion or moving the infusions closer together and then reassess if you've had a response or not. And if you haven't responded even to that dose intensification, then generally your specialist will be looking at a different type of medication to see if that might be more effective for you. What are the possible side effects of infliximab? Well, infliximab is tolerated uh, very well by many people without any side effects. However, some people do experience side effects and the common, I will just mention a few common side effects that's been reported. In, you will have infusion reaction to the, the drug that you're receiving, usually on the first three um, infusion that you'll be receiving. Um, once you have done well and you're on long-term infliximab, you may develop some skin conditions such as, such as psoriasis, you can have um, worsening of joint pain um, from the medications, and but most common thing is infection. So you will have increased risk of infection due to immune suppression that you are getting with this medication. Um, some of the infection that you are getting is more upper respiratory infection, urinary tract infections are some of the common ones. Um, because of this side effect, we usually ask them to stay away from those people who are actively unwell with the infections. Will I need to take any special precautions while being treated with infliximab? Because of some of the infectious risks that exist with infliximab, although the number of people who actually get infections while on the medication is very small, we do screen for um, many things on, by, via blood test prior to your first dose of infliximab, including uh, whether or not you've had infections like tuberculosis in the past or other viral infections, and whether or not you're immune to certain uh, infections as well. If you don't have immunity, then that's often a window of opportunity to vaccinate for those sorts of infections, like hepatitis B, for example. Once you're on infliximab, we do um, routinely uh, recommend influenza vaccination, since influenza is not a fun thing to have, and even worse when you're on infliximab. And we also encourage people to get routine health maintenance, which includes things like regular pap smears for women, regular skin checks, uh, and so on. Um. Can I have immunization while um, on infliximab? As Dr. Bigan already mentioned, we recommend flu vaccinations or pneumococcal vaccination. However, the thing that you have to really avoid is having live vaccination while on infliximab due to the immunosuppression that you are having with this medication. Um, so make sure you check with your um, GP or any healthcare providers who's recommending this immunization, whether it's live vaccine or inactive vaccine. Does infliximab affect pregnancy? Fortunately, infliximab has now uh, been around and on the market for almost two decades. And during that time, there's been a lot of research and studies onto the effects of infliximab and pregnancy. And those studies have generally shown that um, infliximab is relatively safe during pregnancy, both to the mother and to the baby. In general, we will continue infliximab throughout pregnancy, although sometimes specialists may choose to hold a dose during the third trimester of pregnancy. Infliximab does cross the placenta and go into fetal circulation so that when the baby is born, there is infliximab in the circulation, but this doesn't have any uh, negative effects on the baby, both in its health and development uh, growing up. But because that infliximab is in the bloodstream, we also recommend against live vaccines for the first six to 12 months um, of the baby's life. Safety has also uh, been studied in breastfeeding, and although infliximab is secreted in breast milk, it can't be absorbed from the gut by babies. So um, they really get nothing, uh, no infliximab absorption uh, during that process, and we think breastfeeding on infliximab is very safe. Mm -hmm. So overall, infliximab is an effective medication for vitreal bowel disease, um, and if you are getting prescribed with infliximab, I hope you have a good response to it. If you have any questions regarding this um, medication, you should talk to your IBD team regarding this. Um, but if you have a, um, a general question, please leave a comment below and we'll try to get back to you. And don't forget to press the subscribe button below.